<laughs> oh boy. Hey, hey, gang. I just thought I'd come by and make this quick video. This is, uh, let me show you. This is a rock. And I found this rock while the son and I were going for a walk one day around the apartment complex. I saw it on the ground. I picked it up. And it, to me, it looks like the face it was pretty heavy, too. <laughs> the face of a man. You look at him that way. That's his eyes right there. Little dimple. His nose and his mouth. Turn this a uh, front forward. It, it really was kind of deformed, but that's his lip, chin. Turn that way, you see the same thing, the back of his head. But uh, it was so strange. I found it. And I don't know why, but I put this rock up under the driver's seat of my car. I don't remember why. When, but I had to do it because nobody else did it. And one day I had went to the grocery store and bought a small watermelon with all my groceries. I stepped on the brakes kind of quick and the watermelon just rolled uh, out of the back seat and under the driver's seat. So when I was putting up the groceries, I said, let me just take my time and dig up on the seat and get this little bitty watermelon. Watermelon about the size of uh, smaller than a basketball. But then I found this. But when I asked my son-in-law, I said, did you give me this rock? Because he does collect rocks and, rocks and give them to me because I love rocks. But he said, no, mama, I didn't give you that. Then I remembered. This is the rock I found. But I'm going to polish him up. And just, you know, display him. I mean, not display, but I'm going to put him with my wands. But my, uh, my, what is this lady? The manager in these apartments, she came by and they did some inspections with the fire alarm and stuff like that, smoke detectors. And I showed her the rock. She says, oh, she got so scary. Just, oh my God, oh my God, don't touch it, don't touch it. That's a black woman, too. And I say, well, what's, why? Because it's evil. It's evil. These are, are dead kings from Africa. <laughs> and I said, what? She said, yeah. She said, my parents are from Sen Senegal. And that's what they they taught her, that that this is evil and it's, 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 it's a king. Uh, they worship the I just fell out laughing. I said, girl, this thing come from Oak Cliff. We here in the hood. So I don't know how the rock got formed like that, but it ain't no king or nothing. She said, well, Miss Mary, don't be, don't look, because it will bring you all sorts of bad luck. I said, no, it won't. I said, I'm not going to entertain that kind of thought. It's just a weird shaped rock. How it got like that, I don't know. I have no idea, but there is no fear here, my dear. One time I, I had some potatoes. Oh, what you call these big old uh, Idaho uh, regular russet potatoes? And it was two potatoes that had grown into the shape of a heart. It was uh, not a heart, uh, a heart. I said in heart. <laughs> in the shape of a heart. And it was the weirdest thing. And I kept it for years till it just got kind of mushy, but... You know, things are formed and shaped for a reason, but it's not for us to be afraid of them. Just don't have no fear, my dear. Please don't. But I love to collect stones and uh, limbs. That's what me and Sonny were doing. We were out there. We so went for a walk. And But I, when I'm looking, I'm always looking on the ground for sticks to make my wand with. And that's when I saw this rock. But uh, it's nothing to be afraid of. Nothing at all. That's a sweet peace in everything we do. We just don't have to be afraid. Because heaven is within. And the joy, our inner strength comes with joy. And when we can... Uh, 
enjoy joy and, and can erase negative thoughts and negative people and replace it with joy. That's heaven on earth right there. And I, I think about it. If the rapture never happens or Jesus never comes back and all it is, I'm still so complete and so full with the love, the love I have within. It was just sometimes it just, I don't know, it floods over and it just gives you chills. So I'm just good having a good time here. And when it is time to go, I know it's going to be a beautiful occasion. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm looking forward to it, but I know it's going to be a, a great event when, when I close my eyes and I leave this place. And there's no fear, there's only joy. And uh, be encouraged and find that joy. And uh, I had asked God to give me strength because sometimes I get weak and I can wash a few dishes and stand up and do that, but I get weak and then I have to sit down. So that day I said, God, give me strength to finish this. And he, his, not his, her answer was, get it. I said, it's there, get it. I said, oh, that's all I have to do is get it? I said, yes, get it. So when you ask God for something, just get it. It's there, it's open. Come unto me, all you that labor heavy and late, and I will give you rest. There it is. It's there. So, whatever you need, just get it. Okay? Bye.